What is electric current? Electric current is defined as a stream of charged particles such as, electrons or ions moving through an electrical conductor, or space. Here, electric bulb is connected to battery through electrical switch. When the switch is put on, bulb will start glowing. It is the electric current which causes bulb to glow. So what is exactly the electric current? To understand the electric current, we need to first understand the charge. We all know that every matter in this world is made of atoms. So let us take simple thing. Imagine the water bottle in our house. If we see this bottle under the microscope, we can observe that it is made up of the atoms. Here we can see how one atom looks like. All the atoms are composed of protons, electrons, and neutrons. After understanding of atom, it is important to understand how these protons, electron and neutrons helps to produce the electric current. Proton is positive charge. Electron is negative charge. Neutron is neutral means no charge. Negative repels the negative, means, electron repels the electron. Also positive repels positive, means, proton repels the proton. Two negative moves in opposite directions. Similarly, two positive moves in opposite directions. Negative attracts the positive. Means, electron attracts the proton. We can observe the same in the figure. So what is charge? Charge is something that protons and electrons possess which cause them to attract or repel other proton or electron. Let us take the copper rod and connect the copper rod with power source or electrical potential difference. You can see the copper atom structure. Its atomic number is 29. It has total 29 electron around the nucleus and 29 protons at the nucleus. In the last orbit of copper atom, there is just one electron. It is this electron which is going to participate in the conduction process. So every copper atom has one electron in the outermost orbit which can participate in the conduction of electric current. Let's look into at the circuit of copper rod with voltage across it. Inside the copper rod, there are three electrons which are present in the outermost orbit. As we have learned, positive will attract the negative. So positive end of battery or power source will attract negative charged electron. Hence all electron in the copper rod will move in the direction of positive side of power source. Electron will pass through power source and would again go to copper rod. So we would get net negative movement of charge in the direction as shown in figure. That is what is called electric current. When an electrical potential difference is applied between two points in a conductive medium, an electric current starts flowing from higher potential to lower potential. The higher the voltage or potential difference, the more the current to flow between two points. If two points in a circuit are at the same potential, then the current cannot flow. The magnitude of a current depends on voltage or potential difference between two points. Based on the flow of charge, the electric current is classified into two types, that is, alternating current, AC, and direct current, DC. The flow of electric charge in a periodically reverse direction is known as alternating current, AC. The alternating current starts from zero, rises to maximum, decreases to zero, then reverses and reaches a maximum in the opposite direction, then again returns to the original value and repeats this cycle infinitely. The type of alternating current waveform may be sinusoidal, triangular, square, or sawtooth, etc. An alternator can generate an alternating current. The alternator is a special type of electrical generator designed to generate alternating current. The flow of electric charge in only one direction is known as direct current, DC. As DC flows only in one direction, hence it is also referred to as unidirectional current. DC can be generated by batteries, solar cells, fuel cells, thermocouples, commutator type electrical generators, etc. An alternating current can be converted to direct current by using rectifier. Let us learn how current is measured. Let us take copper rod and connect it to potential difference across it. So the charge will start moving. Let us draw the imaginary axis xx and watch the amount of charge flow through xx axis. Amount of electric charge flow per unit time through copper rod is the amount of current. So current is measured as amount of charge flow per second. 
Subscribe Extra Class Academy for more educational content.